Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Thursday, June 16th, 2022. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. Let's get into your reading for the day and let's have a look and see what we've got coming out for you. We're going to start out with a people card there and we have the loving man. Ooh, not too shabby. All right, now this can be a male figure in your world, or this can be someone with a very masculine energy. The loving man, first and foremost, there may be a little bit of romance in your day today. Perhaps your significant other or a really good friend or someone that cares about you a lot may have some sort of um, offer for you. Yes, you could literally be getting flowers today, okay? But this can be some a shoulder to cry on, okay? It can be a little bit of support. Maybe this person has some advice for you. Or maybe this is just somebody who you really care about, who you're going to spend some time with today, or even make the plans to spend some time with today. You might just be looking at this reading going, you know what, I haven't called so-and-so for a while. And the next thing you know, maybe you're picking up the phone and making some plans. This one, this person has a very positive influence on you in your in your day and the next couple of days ahead. Okay, so um, keep your eyes peeled. For some of you, this may be a new person entering your life. You may be meeting a new friend. Perhaps you're reconnecting with somebody. This can be a business associate as well, a colleague in your workplace also. Okay, but yes, it can possibly be a new romantic interest coming in for some of, for those of you who are single. So uh, get off the couch and get outside. We have stuck energy here, but the good news is it's in reverse. So if you've been feeling a little bit stuck in a rut for a while, okay, or you just haven't had the energy to get things finished, to get things started even, okay, this is really all about you getting unstuck. You may get your burst of inspiration. Maybe there's a helping hand that can come out here for you, okay? So the point is, instead of being stuck in the mud, okay, we're moving forward, taking some sort of action or some sort of initiative to either get something off the ground, to get something finished, Okay, or maybe just even to get your ducks in a row, all right? So you may be taking action on something, okay? But it can be something internal as well. Maybe you're just getting a burst of inspiration or some new ideas. We've had some clarity coming in this week for a lot of people, okay? So, um, and uh, so that may just be for you. But let's see what else we've got. Maybe this person can help you get unstuck. Nice. So let's see what else we've got coming out for you guys. So we've got the five of cups coming out there. <clears throat> so there may be something that doesn't quite go your way today. We have judgment, three of wands, and we've got the page of cups. Oh, hello. That might be where that friendship, that romance comes in there for you. We've got the knight of swords, six of pentacles page of swords and we also have the emperor the energy at beautiful the energy at the bottom of the deck we do have the star uh lovely when we have the star energy this is that aquarian energy coming in here to bring a sense of peace and calm into your world it also brings a little bit of healing very important there with that five of cups energy that's right there okay so this is you literally getting unstuck right here okay but the star uh the star card really does bring you in bursts of inspiration and optimism it is a very calm very serene kind of energy bringing in that healing and restoring even some balance in your world Whenever we do get the star, this has to do with your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your big picture, your future, okay, where you're headed. So you might be making some plans for the future, perhaps what you're setting in motion right now or what you're trying to overcome right now does lay the groundwork for something interesting later on down the road. But this is a really positive energy, okay? We're storing some hope, faith, and trust into your world, trusting that you're making the right decision, trusting that you're on the right path. This also can have to do with manifestation as well, okay? So perhaps something that you have manifested previously is starting to come in here for you, okay? So perhaps some new opportunities, all right, or maybe just some information, maybe even some healing, right? We all manifest something a little bit differently, Star energy is all about innovation, but it's also that big old yes card. A lot of blessings that are headed your way. So ultimately, you're shifting, okay, you're shifting, you're moving forward. 
because with the five of cups here, the energy, uh, the energy around you today, okay, this can certainly just represent that maybe something doesn't go your way today. Something might not pan out the way you wanted it to, or maybe you just don't get as much accomplished as what you wanted to in the day ahead. Some little bit of disappointment there. Okay, it could even be, you know, uh, it could even be just that, you know, that energy where you tried something, it didn't work, but with the two cups still standing there, there is a solution available for you. Okay, so whatever it is that's not quite living up to expectations or doesn't quite go your way today, right? This requires a conf conscious effort on your part to turn around and see the solution to move forward. Sometimes we get stuck in the five of cups energy, right? That stuck energy, uh-uh. Okay, we are going to turn around today and we're going to find the solutions. We're going to look forward. Okay, we're going to process some emotions, sure. All right, but there is this, you know, are you going to stay stuck looking at what's not working or crying over spilt milk, so to speak, okay, in the universe? All right, or are you going to turn around and find the solutions? Okay, because honestly, the star energy here and everything else shows me that you are going to get a deeper understanding of what hasn't gone your way. Are you going to look at something maybe a little bit more objectively? You're going to process your feelings and then you're going to turn around because we do have the Knight of Swords here also. Okay, so some go-getter kind of energy here. Quick action, quick thinking, okay, um, you know, figuring something out and then boom, going for it. That Knight of Swords is all about action, moving forward and not getting stuck, okay? This Knight of Swords is never stuck, all right? So uh, I think here that you're going to get some sort of news, some messages, some information, or maybe you're just going to get a little bit of clarity, okay, and you're going to move forward. Your advice from spirit today, okay? There may be something that you need to let go mm -hmm, with the judgment card, okay? There's also clarity, okay? So you might really need to get a deeper understanding of something here with the judgment energy, okay? There is clarity coming towards you. There's some information coming towards you, but there may also be something here that you need to make a conscious effort to release, okay? To get yourself unstuck, all right? And sometimes, you know, and especially with that five of cups energy, okay, something may have disappointed you, okay? Or maybe you get some sort of news or information, but it doesn't quite live up to your expectations. Let it go. Go with the flow, okay? Um, if you need some more information, get more information because it's there for you, all right? But the judgment card really is that big, um, that big release, okay? Where something that you've been ignoring or something comes to light, and you need to process it okay you need to figure out what to do with it all right is this some is this going to help me or is it something that i really need to let go of okay so this is where we release blocks we release blocks, we get a little bit of enlightenment, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, we find our solutions, and then we move forward. All right, so really kind of all centering around this Five of Cups energy. All right, a little bit of a challenge there for you, okay, a little bit of an obstacle, but I think here you're overcoming it. Make a balanced and fair approach at something here, okay? The Six of Pentacles is balance and fairness and equality. It is also a reminder of the law of giving and receiving. What energy, what we put out into the universe is ultimately what comes back to us. So right back to the Five of Cups yet again. Okay, when we focus too much on what we don't have or what hasn't gone our way or what the problem is, we do need to look at our, our issues and see how we can resolve them, okay? But we don't want to get stuck in them. So if we are stuck in this five of cups energy and we're down in the dumps and we're focused on what we don't have and we're impatient and we're sad, okay? And yes, that does happen, of course. But if we don't let it go, okay, we ultimately end up attracting more of this. And we don't want that, okay? We want to attract the good things in life. We want to attract positive things, right? And that star energy shows your connection to the universe, okay? So you are attracting whatever it is that you focus on, okay? Whatever energy you put out there, boom, it's coming right on back to you, okay? So just a little bit of a heads up there with that five of cups energy, okay? But the six of pentacles can also be... With with judgment, okay, is your advice here. There's something that you need to let go, something that you may need to find the truth on or see the truth. Sometimes we ignore the truth. 
Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then, um, you know, remember that when we do, that's when the great things come back to us with the six of pentacles. Okay. There may be some improvements that are on the horizon for you here as well. You might may need to make a balanced, fair and practical decision on something, but you may also need um, to ask for help, or you may even need to accept help. Five is the six of pentacles, excuse me, is a, an energy of balance. Yes. But it is also a card of charity. And when we have plenty, then we can give, share, and help others. When we don't have what we need, five of cups, then we need to be willing to ask for and accept help from other people. So that could certainly be where the loving man comes in there for you. There may be somebody around you that has your best interests at heart that maybe you can ask for help, okay? Or maybe they offer their assistance this knight of swords, right? Maybe they've got something to say. They may have something really positive to offer you. Okay. Some advice, some words of wisdom, okay. A helping hand of some kind. All right. And this could really help you out a little bit, but there may also be somebody here with the six of pentacles that maybe you are helping someone. This five of cups may not be you. Okay. Perhaps you are, um, someone's light at the end of the tunnel. Perhaps you can help somebody out. Okay. So a little bit of giving and receiving there with that six of pentacles energy, but the blessings that are headed your way today, the three of wands and the page of swords. Oh yeah. You got some good news. Okay. So you're either getting some sort of new information. Okay. You're getting some answers. Perhaps you just got this birth burst of new ideas. Okay. Maybe you do some research and you figure out what you're looking for because the three of wands is your blocks are moved. Okay. This is you having a good solid plan in place and you are ready to take the next steps. It's an energy of expansion, of growth, of moving forward, of seizing an opportunity. It can also be one of waiting. Okay. Um, sometimes that three of wands energy, right? We've got two wands in the ground. It's like, yes, I know what I want, but I'm ready to take the next steps. Okay. So always with the three of wands, there's always a little bit of a, a caveat there. Okay. Sometimes we get stuck in that energy because we're waiting for perfection. And as we all know, going through life, okay, sometimes we enter something with rose-colored glasses. But as we all know in this game we call life is that not all circumstances are 100% perfect to make a move, okay, or to put something in action. Sometimes it's a bit of a waiting game and that's all fine and dandy, okay, but when, if we wait too long, we get stuck, Okay, and this is really all about you getting unstuck. So this five of cups could be something where you've been waiting for something. Okay, and there's something here with the two cups still standing. Okay, but you may have been waiting for something for a while and you're not seeing the potential. Okay, or you're, you know, you're waiting for this, in, this vision of perfect and what's here for you may not necessarily be your idea of perfection, but it doesn't mean that it's the wrong time or that it's the wrong opportunity. So this three of wands, instead of focused on what you don't have, or instead of focused on what doesn't meet your expectations, the three of wands is you flipping that energy around, looking into the horizon, looking to see where your next steps are, and then going for it, okay? Because this page of swords here really is all about going for it too. Okay, the pages always have a little bit of a zest for life, right? And we do have forward movement and we do have some clarity uh, coming in here, maybe even some sort of communication, some good news. So there may be something here that you've been waiting for and you get some really good news that you've been waiting for and this boom kickstarts you into moving forward. This can also be you just seeing things a little bit differently, seeing things um, with a little bit of clarity with the Page of Swords. Perhaps your willingness to try something new and your open mind is what propels you forward and has you really taking some action, okay, or seeing the potential of your situation, okay, your blocks removed. It's like, yep, I know exactly what I need to do next. Okay, the page of swords can also, of course, be um, somebody coming forth towards you with some sort of information, some news. Okay, maybe someone has, um, you know, kind of been seeing you for a little bit, right? The page of swords, always a little bit curious. Um, curiosity kind of killed the cat a little bit. We actually do have just um, on a side note here, we actually do have um, multiple Aquarian influences that are coming in here for you. Okay, the energy of Uranus, all right, 
is all about kind of a little bit of rebellion, challenging the status quo and trying new things, okay, getting out of a box. Okay, the Aquarian energy that comes in with that star does bring in that kind of innovation, but so does the Page of Swords, quite often related to the Aquarian energy. And it really is because that Page of Swords is very futuristic, okay, very willing to willing and open to try something a little different, to try something a little bit new, okay, a little bit of an innovation comes in here with this, also very technology focused as well. So there may be some sort of... Um, uh, communication or some discovery that you make that involves like the internet or email or your cell phone or something okay but it can just be this burst of new ideas and this zest for doing something different and breaking free out of kind of any restrictions that you're dealing with so keep an open mind because you never know what you may find but your overall outcome of the day pretty damn good I would say the page of cups and the emperor oh yeah getting things on track okay being in control maintaining uh, some semblance of authority here and live in your best life with the page of cups okay so perhaps you just have a really happy outcome to your day today very simply okay it's like I got some problems I've got some challenges today I had to do some research I had to ask for some help oh my god okay but I'm getting it all back on track here Okay, the Emperor does bring in this element of success, stability, and authority to your world. Okay, and the Page of Cups brings about this very kind of happy, jovial energy as well. Now, I do also have to say that some of you may be getting a message, perhaps out of the blue. The Page of Cups, yes, can represent uh, the love and romance, okay, or maybe even getting together with a friend, all right? you uh, If you're meeting somebody new, it could possibly be an Aries person with the Emperor, okay? It could be someone older than you, but someone that's young at heart, okay? It can also just be someone who's just really excited to get together with you, be it a friend, a family member, okay, whatever it happens to be. So certainly a joyous and positive outcome to your day okay the emperor however is also a um uh, an advice card quite often. So again, here may be somebody giving you some really positive support and influence in your day as well. But there may be a bit of a surprise because the Page of Cups quite often does come with a little bit of surprise. Sometimes rose-colored glasses, but coupled with the Emperor, hmm, probably not rose-colored glasses, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, maybe I think it's probably just someone who ha is a really kind-hearted um, kind of person with that maybe even in someone who your intuition uh, told you that you were going to meet okay but it may be a family thing going on here for you as well with two pages and of course a father figure or a male figure with that emperor energy okay so you could be healing or repairing a relationship here as well right considering we do have that five of cups there but whatever it is I think you got a pretty good outcome for your day I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that helped you or that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.